Hey everyone, I've had the Tesla Powerwall for two years now and last year I made a video showing how it performed over its first year. So what I'm going to do is make another video, just a quick one, to see how the second year compared with the first one and just see how it's working. Okay, I've done up a bit of a spreadsheet here, so I'll just take you through what I've got here. Now, this column here are just the power meters on the unit, okay? They're just meters like any other power meter. They just keep, keep going up. That's what they do. So that was not long after I first got it installed, okay? Now, these are all in kilowatt hours. So when 2019 came around, that all increased, obviously. So for solar produced uh, last year, as in its first year, was uh, 9675 kilowatt hours. And the load that I used that first year was 8418. So for that first year, I produced basically 115% of my total energy needs from solar, which seemed good. Okay, now the year from, the most recent year, from 2019 to 2020, the meter for solar had gone up from that to that. Okay, so the difference is this amount here. That's how much solar energy I made uh, this year. So last year was a little bit more than this year. Okay, so a little less solar power, but uh, you know, it's going to be roughly the same. Uh, the load, though, you can see I used a lot more this year. Okay, and I know I did because I plugged the car in more often and charged it more. So, you know, used more energy. So this year, I only produced 92% of my energy needs from solar. Okay, no big deal, but it's still up there. But the value I really want to look at is this one. Now, what I'm talking about here is basically how efficient the battery is, the power wall itself. So from the first year, the, the energy in to the battery compared to the energy out shows how much sort of loss there is, okay? Because you put one kilowatt in, sorry, one kilowatt hour in, then you're not going to get exactly one kilowatt hour out because there's going to be losses, okay? So what I did here, I just looked over the year, this is how much energy went into the battery and this is how much uh, came out of it, okay? And if you work that out, divide it uh, by 365 just to get a daily, uh, it works out that there's an extra one kilowatt hour goes into the battery that doesn't come out. So I thought, okay, I didn't know what to expect for that first year, but I, that was the result when I checked last year. So for this most recent year, looking at the same kind of thing, the uh, battery energy in for the year, I mean, the numbers are very similar to last year, in compared to out, it works out to be the same amount. So the, the battery looks as good in its second year as it was in the first year and that's the value i really wanted to check on this because i'd hate to see it if i was putting a lot more energy in than i was getting out because that would mean the battery's really degrading but so far after the second year is the same as the first one anyway so it hasn't degraded so it looks like one tends to be what it's supposed to be so i just wanted to show you that uh, in case you're interested in what solar i've got here i've got 20 panels with micro inverters and the most power i can possibly get out of it when it's absolute maximum is 5.4 kilowatts now i don't often see that value um you know but i often get close to five kilowatts but anyway that's just i just wanted to, to show how the battery is degrading or in this case not really degrading that much so the battery seems good as it was the first year i'll see how it goes next year and i'll make another video then see ya